The Super Dragon Ball Heroes teaser is here, but when can you expect everything to drop? How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we have the Dokkan Event teaser for the Limit Breaker for Vegito this year, one of this year's Super Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration units, and this is exciting because this is basically kicking off the countdown of events that are going to happen that will lead us into the start of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes campaign. So let's go ahead, let's hop on in, let's talk about the event, and when you can expect to see everything happen. So, we have the Dokkan event teaser. I won't let you have have your way. The saver who has acquired tremendous power arrives. Challenge the limit break infusion fighters. Stay tuned for the new Dokkan event. So in just a few short days, we should have the teaser event for or the event, the Dokkan event live for this new character. Remember, we are getting a whole bunch of new characters with this, right? We are getting the Vegito himself. We are getting a Super Saiyan 3 Rosé. We're getting this free-to-play Toa and the Awakenings for the modified Janemba and Golden Metal Killer, along with a Limit Breaker for Broly, Vegeta, and um a dark king foo so we got a lot coming and the question on everybody's burning mind is when is this happening well we know for sure the events uh, the campaign period will begin on the 21st and we know this thanks to the breaker stream when they announced it the initial uh promotional video they put out for these guys when they announced it and you can see right down here on the twitter post the 21st is when this is starting as far as when exactly this is going to happen well the easiest way to figure that out is to look at when the banners for the last group of dragon ball heroes uh characters um dropped and so if we look at the limit breaker for vegeta or the goku you're going to see that he released at 8 p.m hawaii standard time so that's about 10 p.m pst on the 21st of november last year so that lines up with what they're telling us for this year 21st of november we can safely assume that it'll be 8 p.m my time when these guys drop and that's further confirmed that if we look at um last year's campaign right you can see that um on the 26th second right this is utc right so this would have been around the same time 8 p.m on the 21st my time um as when this campaign dropped so now the banners drop a little bit after everything else just like every other campaign so the banners dropped at this time but much much earlier right they had the um the actual campaign began right so we had the about four hours before right we had the campaign for the the crossover stone begins the new story event the new EZAs, the new red zone now it's unsure right now if we're going to get a new red zone or if we're just going to get new stages but you can expect that when the campaign starts probably around reset time is when you can expect to see that right we have the uh, previous Extreme Z Awakening come back, the previous um, Dokkan events for the previous one, so the Limit Breaker for their Dokkan events will come back, Trunks' Dokkan events, the Vegito Dokkan events, all of those will come back, and I believe we should be getting a burst mode at this. See, that's the thing with Dragon Ball Heroes. They kind of just drop everything all at once aside from the banners right they'll drop the whole campaign all at once which to be completely honest isn't that big of a deal right most of what you guys are going to be seeing here it can't all be tackled in one day and you know like we'll be spending a lot of our videos here going over the various different units um doing their showcases so there'll be plenty of time to get through all of the content even though it is all dropping at once so about four hours before the banners drop you can expect to see the uh campaign begin and then the banners dropping as we said at um 8 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time, 10 p.m. PST is 
pretty much what we can expect. As far as when to expect the information on these guys and the upcoming EZAs, right? All of these guys down here are going to be getting an EZA. And, well, actually, everybody on this banner is going to be getting an EZA aside from the uh, Bardock and the Gohan. We can expect to see all of this information drop probably around 11 p.m. on the 19th. So it, I currently have 12 a.m. So in about 23 hours, we should be seeing the details drop for these characters, right? For the EZAs, for the Limit Breaker 4s. That is pretty much what you can expect. Um, timelines are pretty solid on all of these. Every year, it all goes about the same. We'll get the teaser, and then about 24 hours later, we get the details but before that we should get a new promotional campaign probably tomorrow around reset um, 4 p.m hawaii standard time so it's about an hour after reset on the 19th we should get the promotional video campaign for the upcoming crossover summon so timeline of events we have the dokkan event now in about 18 hours we should get the promotional video and then in about 23 hours we should get the teasers for the upcoming characters with the easy a's to follow a day or two after that right so there's a lot coming guys um be uh Make sure you guys stay tuned for all of that. When the data download hits, we'll be sure to cover that along with a good should you summon video and an exact time of banner dropping. Right now, this is my best guess, but it's a pretty solid one based on previous years. It's almost always around the same time every year. So, guys, that is is the video that is the teaser for the limit breaker for vegeto and everything you can expect to see happen in the next couple of days so anyways guys that's it for the video if nothing else thanks for watching and aloha